Yo, what's going on, everybody? Edel here with another haul video. Uh, it's, it's been an interesting week, man. Uh, definitely an interesting week. But I got a couple figures here I want to share with you guys real quick. Um, hey, salute to all you guys who are watching, checking out the videos, seeing what I, you know, what what I picked up. You know, I appreciate it. Um, I know it's not a lot of content. You know, I don't do any reviews or anything like that, and. and I might get on here and talk about some other stuff, but for right now, you know, hey, you know, appreciate it. You know, this is what I do, like pick up figures and I want to share with you guys. Uh, it's my way of, you know, being part of the community, whatever the case may be. But um, salute, you know, right, take a sip. But moving on, um, this giant man. Uh, it doesn't look really good, man. Uh, a couple days left. We have uh, right now, as of October 18th, um, about five o'clock. There's five days, seven hours, 37 minutes uh, left to back this project. Um, they need a little bit, what, 3,700 more backers? some change uh just doing some rough math that's a lot man i mean, I, I know a lot of people want this you know there's six over six thousand people that want this uh that might be less than six thousand because i know a lot of people uh purchase multiple of these because they want to be able to pose them i i, I don't get it I, like i can see the zombie one uh you know what i can see all three i can see all three um but i don't know man like and what, what a lot of people are saying, and they're comparing this to the Galactus, where the Galactus backed late. Um, but this is not the Galactus figure. The Galactus figure had, you know, three figures added to it, additional masks for Galactus, uh, electronics in it, and everything like that. And this doesn't have it. Yeah, it's more expensive. But a lot of those things, I think a lot of collectors appreciate and would want. And, and I know it's just like everything right now with with this, you know, HasLab and just toy collecting in general. It's just been like crazy, man. A lot of people going at, at each other's throats, you know, you know, people calling out other people. And it's just it's just it's a bad look. man. but, and, you know, in the end, it's just freaking figures, you know, like I right now, as of right now, I have not backed this. And like I, I wouldn't mind getting it, you know, like I said. It's a dope figure, but it just I just don't see two hundred dollars worth of me dropping this, especially with everything that's coming out. You know, pre-orders are hitting. You know, uh, you know, are coming out with you know, GI Joe Classified. Uh, I've been picking up you know some Valiverse figures, um, picking up other like Power Ranger stuff, and just like I don't collect one line. And I just don't see me dropping two hundred dollars on this. It's like I would love to have this in my collection. I just don't see myself dropping two hundred dollars on this right as of, as of right now, uh, because with everything that's coming out, like everything's coming out, um, like the range vap, uh, range vipers. Um, I was just walking out to my you know to my car from work because I can't have my phone in my building, and. I just jumped on Facebook real quick and somebody posted, hey, the Range Vipers are on Walmart.com. So I jumped on Walmart.com and I picked up two Range Vipers because I know I'm not going to find them out here. You know, like I've been and it sucks, man, like because I love going out to the stores and, you know, finding figures on the shelves and, you know, picking them up. It's just for right now, like in my area, there's nothing out there and it sucks. So I have to pre-order everything and it's not fun. You know, like I like going out to the stores. I like, you know, going to different places and see what they have. You know, I can catch a deal, you know, it, that might be on sale or they might be on clearance or whatever the case may be. And then to, to finally get it, it's pretty amazing. Um, like, uh, old boy, I, I don't know his freaking YouTube channel, but he's he lives in North Carolina, same area that I lived in, uh, that I live in. And he went to Ollie's and he found um, the Crimson uh, Guard, the G.I. Joe Classified Crimson Guard. And I've been going to that Ollie's for like every week. And he just so happened to go on one day and they, they had him and he cleaned them out. 
which is fine i mean I, hey shout out to you bro like good for you I, I forgot his name i think it's like savage savage something but like that's exciting you know that's the when you go out there and you've been looking for it and then you finally get in you're like damn you know that's it, it makes it worth it and especially five dollars a figure so i don't know bro but this has lab i hope it backs man i really do i hope you know everyone who backed it gets it um but for for I, it doesn't look good man it's it's not the galactus like i can't and what if it doesn't back? You know, are we going to get another HasLab in the future? You know, a lot of people are saying, Fing, Fing, Foom, ah, whatever, bro. Like, uh, he's not really a sought off character. Like, maybe Apocalypse with his four horsemen, you know, and then, you know, additional accessories for Apocalypse, you know, like weapon accessories. That'd be dope, you know, because we haven't had, kind of like, we got the Sentinel. But, you know, like, and the Sentinel came with a couple of figures, too. And a lot of people saying, don't put those figures behind paywalls. I'm like, yeah, I get it, bro. Like, we people want those figures. But, like, if if we get a really big figure and a couple additional figures and we have to pay a little bit more, in my opinion, it's going to add up. Like, I know they're trying to, and it makes sense. They're trying to break it out, you know, where... You buy this figure and then later on you buy these other figures that will go with it and it would just it won't hurt your wallet as much and they're just trying to space it out which makes sense but like they could announce those figures that they're gonna you know that hey these figures are coming out in the future uh at san diego comic-con at toy uh toy fair but they didn't you know and no one knows what's coming out in the future i'm sure they're gonna do something and everybody's positive that they're gonna do something but for right now it's just I don't know, bro. Like, uh, I really, do, like I said, I really do hope it backs. But to me, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to back. I don't think it's going to back. So moving on to the figures I picked up. Um, but before I do that, uh, I did open up a couple of figures. Uh, finally did open up a couple of figures. Um, I got my Joy Toy uh, Blood Angels. Picked these up. Like I said before, um, these are really dope, man. Highly articulated. Uh, really well sculpted a lot of accessories and for the price it's really worth it i mean it, it's it's definitely a nostalgia type thing for, for people to pick these figures up because like you have to play 40k and i do play 40k i do have blood angels army like i said in my last video um but these look really really good um i did get one of them uh when i opened them up the 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 um, foot was off it was off the peg and then like i couldn't get it on so i had to heat it up pop back in but other than that you know every figure that i opened up and i got three of these um they they came out really good like everything looks great like i said these are these are dope um if i get two more and i Mephiston, I got Mephiston coming in the mail. Uh, he's he's one of the librarians for the Blood Angels, the librarian, chief librarian. Um, well, okay, I'm not gonna get into that, but if you know, you know. Um, also, got the uh, opened up the Master Morpher. This is really cool. Uh, these are diecast coins. It's hollow in the back, and they have these little pegs on them. So when you slide it onto the base it, it like slots in so it doesn't really move uh, they will fall um, but this is really dope I haven't put batteries in it yet but it, you know I, don't, I just don't got triple A's but these look this looks really good the, the, the morpher itself really nice metallic shiny front casing i don't know i don't know what you call it but like i said like i said before in my previous video like this base it's just straight plastic man i mean it's really well sculpted but they could have put a wash on it or something they could have made it a little bit more appeasing pleasing appeasing i don't know words but that's pretty dope um all right yeah so let's get into the figures real quick um jada toys Got the Evil Ryu, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, 
I haven't got any of the other Street Fighters figures. The only reason why is because I haven't found them yet. Um, I know there's a couple out there. Uh, Ken, I, I think Ken. Right, I know Ryu, Chun Li, and Fei Long are really out there. Are, are out there, but I don't know about like Ken. I think Ken might be out there too. Uh, I would like to find them and add it to, add it to this evil Ryu. Uh, seen a video, you know, watching the coverage on Single Comic Con, I thought it was pretty dope. So I ended up, you know, going to their site and finding out the price because uh, I guess they sold out at Single Comic Con, and um, I thought it was pretty cool. I was like, hey, you know, for forty something bucks, I like I definitely pick it up. Um, New York Comic Con was pretty boring too, right? You know, like a lot of people were saying it was like the worst Comic Con ever for New York. Um, there's they don't, isn't the ever since COVID, like the cons been really like there's no they like even at San Diego, you had to go in line to get a code. I know a lot of people like go to get the figures and they have them there. But it just it's different. I just don't know why. Like I went to New York Comic Con a couple of years back and it was it was fun. Um, but this year they said a lot of people that were on that I'm watching on YouTube, they're saying that like uh, a lot of anime stuff, uh, if you were like there's no releases, no reveals, no, nothing. It's just it was just like blah. Uh, like any other other Comic Con out there. But um you know, it just it's it's weird. Ever since COVID, uh, COVID fucked up everything. Um, and <laughs> shout out to the guy who took his shit on the floor. But they said it might have been a dog, a service dog. But that was funny. I thought it was kind of hilarious. Um, moving on to some GI Joe classified. Got these today. Got my grunts. Wasn't able to get the eleven ninety nine grunt. Had to pull the trigger, or just I had them pre-ordered on uh, Hasbro, so I ended up getting paying full price. Uh, which sucks because I was really trying to look for uh, look for those damn grunts for that price. It's definitely worth it. Uh, got the steel core, um, pretty dope, I guess. And you know, a lot of reviews out there saying that these don't scale well with the other classified figures, which is which is fine. Like I said, I was gonna just po pose them up in the air, um, do something, you know. You know, instead of them just sitting on the ground or anything like that, but it is it is sad that you know they're not to scale, especially the the male version, the female version. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little bit smaller, but the male version is just it's kind of kind of shitty. I, I just don't know why that's the case. You know, like I don't know why the the scaling is different. Uh, I got two snow serpents. These finally came in. Uh, it's a pretty heavy package, man. Like these are these have some weight on them. A lot of accessories on it. Uh, got another one on BBDS. I already paid for it. Uh, it's in my pile of loot. And um, I don't know. I had two. I canceled one because I ended up picking up the um, who is it? Uh, Valiver's the new one. The uh, damn, I forgot her name. I'm not familiar with Valiver's and stuff like that. Gemini? Yeah, it was Gemini. I ended up picking up Gemini. Gem Gemini. Damn, I can talk. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I canceled one. I still have another one. I might cancel that one too because I don't need three snow serpents. Um, but we'll see. You know, we'll see. There might be something out there that catches my eye and I end up canceling and just paying for that, anyways. Uh, Marvel Legends. Uh, got the two pack Black Knight and Cersei. This is pretty dope. Um, do appreciate us getting this Cersei. She looks really good. And the Black Knight. I know we had some Black Knights in the past. But this one looks really good. Uh, definitely like this version of Black Knight. So that's dope. And that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much what I picked up this past couple weeks. Has it been weeks? Week? Maybe? I don't know. But that's pretty much what I picked up. Um, I do like... I do want to do something if I like, I don't know, like it depends. I kind of like, I've been sitting on these figures, right? These Marvel Selects figures. So I have uh, Venom or no Thor, sorry. And I have Venom right here. I got these Marvel Selects. I've been sitting on them for quite some time. 
um, like in my previous house that I lived in, I had a really big like loft above my garage, so I was able to get my whole entire collection. I have like a lot of stuff in storage, uh, but I have a whole entire collection. I can lay everything out, and this is my new house. You know, I'm limited to this office that my wife was graciously enough to give to me. So thank you, babe. But um, I might do a I might do a giveaway on those because they've just been sitting there for a while. Um, so if I get 500 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. And then when once I do hit that milestone, um, I'll do a video. Say, hey, you know, leave a comment, whatever. And then one of you lucky subscribers, viewers, whatever. I don't know. One of y'all. One of y'all will get one of these figures of your choice. Um, so I don't know. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. Um, a lot of stuff still coming down the pipe. Uh, got waiting for these pre orders for uh, classified on what 1027 when Hasbro does their 1027. So I know these pre orders are gonna be coming quick. Uh, so I got some more stuff I gotta pick up, but I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you guys are able to pick up the figures. Uh, that you wanted enjoy them uh, but until next time guys i will talk to y'all later